<laughs> you cool, kiddo. Go ahead. You shit ready. Sean would face down here, and I am with one of the members of Unwritten Law, and you are? Scott, the singer. Excellent. Now, uh, you guys have been a band since 1990. Did you ever expect to be still jamming for today? Um, no. Nah, fuck no. No way. <laughs> like, it's not... I thought we played a couple parties. I thought we'd be able to play a couple parties and fucking get some free booze and some free drugs and make out some chicks and that would be a wrap. <laughs> Thank God punk blew up and fucking, you know, here we are 20 years later, fucking not having a job in school. Nice. Now, what's the inspiration and story behind your latest single, Starships and Apocalypse? The inspiration is uh, me being in love with a fucking crazy chick, which seems to be the case over and over again. Now, uh, can you give us and your fans some insight on your newest uh, album, Swan? What's the, what can your fans expect? Fucking full fangs, fully extended, all fucking jugulars, no fucking B-sides. Meant every fucking word, every kick, every snare, every tempo, every guitar line, every overdub, every fucking bass line. Every melody was fucking diagnosed a thousand times over. No stone was left unturned until he came up with the exact mathematical fucking equation that you're fucking listening to right now. For real, it is our Chinese democracy. It took me a year and a half to make, and we fucking meant it, like, and you're going to fucking feel it. That's real. Nice. We got two more questions. Um, 2007, you guys performed Should Have Known Better on the Jay Leno Show. How was it doing that show, and is there any Jay stories you'd like to share? <laughs> um, I don't remember doing it, but I'm sure it was awesome. Uh, but I do know Jay is a fucking cool dude. Like, yo, he, um... I bring my... I have, I have three kids, and, um... I bring my kids every time we do anything special like that. Especially, like, you know, like Letterman or fucking Leno or... Or, like, any of that shit. And so, he, Jay is really cool. He always comes into the dress, dressing room and fucking does tricks for the kids. Which is remarkable. Like, you know, he's such a fucking next-level dude. Like, he's a fucking cool dude. And, like... Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I do remember is him just being fucking really cool to the, the family and shit. Like... He's, he's a down motherfucker, so, like, I just think he's cool as shit, so, yo, that's his own. And last but not least, uh, what does the, hold your, the future hold for you guys? Any other new albums, tours, DVDs, videos, what can your fans expect? First and foremost, world domination with Swan. After that's done, um, we are going to record, uh, by buying time, an, ac uh, uh, an acoustic record, but a studio acoustic record, not like Music in High Places, but a full done production wise acoustic record. And uh, with uh, our homie uh, Kyle Torme who plays piano, and um, and then yeah, he'll be sucking a fucking uh, Swan Part Two for sure, and um, that's what's up. It was the death, and now it's the rebirth, and we're coming, fucking, we're coming for your whole fucking town, son. <laughs> Excellent. If you guys have not ever heard of Unwritten Law, you guys are stupid, but you definitely need to check these guys out. They kick fucking ass. I do appreciate your time. What's up? Face down is out. <laughs> <laughs>